Jared Latch here with the ACC Digital Network brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. Joined now by Coley Harvey, columnist for the Orlando Sentinel who covers Florida State football. Coley, first of all, thanks for joining us. And we look at 11 Knowles going in the NFL draft, which was a school record. But that means there may be some serious holes to fill for next season. Absolutely. You know, you're talking about 11 guys. That is a Florida State record, of course. The previous record was 10 set in 1995. It's kind of a sign that Florida State's talent at least seems to be going right back in the right direction. But as far as filling some of those holes, of course, uh, offensively, E.J. Manuel is going to be a big hole that, that the Seminoles will have to fill. We'll see what they do with the quarterback uh, position going forward. Defense, defensive line, they lost a ton of talent there between Brandon Jenkins, Jorn Werner, and Tank Carradine on the defensive end. Uh, so we'll see who they're able to bring in there. Of course, they have a few uh, young freshmen and redshirt freshmen and sophomores who they're hoping to, uh, to come in and, uh, and definitely fill those shoes. Now you look at that biggest hole with EJ that you referenced, and you mentioned they have some options there. Uh, what can you tell us about that? Well, of course, uh, there was a four-man position battle there during the spring practice season. Of course, uh, uh, you had Clint Trickett at the time who was, who was competing for a number one job. Of course, he has actually announced that he is leaving Florida State uh, here after the spring practice season. But you had him going for that job. You also had uh, Jameis Winston going for that job, who was a redshirt freshman. And then also Jacob Coker, who, was a third, who, who is a third-year player, uh, coming into this season, a redshirt sophomore. So you have uh, all this talent, all this uh, young talent, so to speak, at that position. The key, though, is to see how that young talent will translate once they get a chance to play. Jameis Winston appears to be the guy who will win that starting job right now. I think that Winston stood out uh, more than Coker in a, in a certain sense just because he, he's kind of been the guy since he's come to Florida State that the fans have wanted to see. Uh, Jimbo Fisher raved about uh, Jimbo Fisher's raved about both of those guys, but he's really raved about Jameis. Uh, ever since Jameis stepped foot on campus. He's also a baseball player, and, and the legend of his baseball glory has, has really begun to transcend uh, uh, the campus, so to speak. He, he apparently threw 97 miles an hour uh, as a relief pitcher in one game. He's, he's, got, a, uh, you know, he's got a couple of triples. He's, he's hitting pretty well right now uh, on the field in that regard. So he, he's got that side story as well. So it, it seems as if he's a guy that everyone wants to see get that job. And again, you know, in the spring game, he was 12 of 15, threw for 205 yards, had two touchdown passes. His first pass of the spring game actually was a touchdown. So it's looking a lot like Jameis Winston is going to end up being that guy. But you can't discount uh, Jacob Coker. He's got the size, he's got the mobility, and he's got the arm strength that Jimbo Fisher is also looking for. You know, any other players that really stood out there in the spring? Yeah, you know, uh, one guy I think to watch is going to be uh, Chad Abram. He was a fullback, uh, or he is the fullback for the Seminoles. They'll use him in a little bit of a tailback kind of role as well, some, some one-back kind of uh, kind of formations. They did that a lot with Lonnie Pryor the last two seasons. So, uh, so we'll see exactly how, how that works for Chad Abram, but he looked good during the spring. They had a few injuries in the backfield as well during the spring, and that kind of forced him to take a little bit more of a, uh, of a proactive role in playing, and he, he seemed to perform pretty well. Uh, in that regard, Mario Edwards Jr. on the defense, defensive end, he's a redshirt freshman coming into this season. He's another guy to look out for. Uh, he seemed to have a pretty strong uh, spring himself. And, of course, like we said earlier, he's going to be one of those guys who has to fill in for Bjorn Warner, Tank Carradine, and Brandon Jenkins.